Welcome to In Broadcast In Show Interviews at NAB 2015. I'm Brenda McNeil and joining me for a chat today is Roger Kainer and he is Vice President of Broadcast and Communications at IEWC. You're very welcome, Roger. Thank, Thank you, you so much for joining us. So IEWC recently acquired Argosy. Um, why was Argosy acquired? Well, with the ever-increasing demand for digital communications, particularly in the broadcast space, um, we felt like Argosy was a terrific fit for our organization, both from a product offering standpoint, uh, it increased our locations um, and our reach into the uh, EMEA marketplace, specifically the UK and uh, the Middle East. Great, and the, the strengths of the new organization, can you tell me about those? Well, Argosy has been, since 1984, a leader in the broadcast and communication space, supporting customers like Sky and BBC, et cetera. When we looked to expand our, our reach into EMEA uh, more earnestly, it became clear very quickly, Brenda, that Argosy was the right company. As we engaged with that organization, the former principals, uh, Mike Purnell and Ken Eckert, it became clear that our organizations were very similar. So we, um, we quickly set to it. And we're very glad to have the Argosy uh, team as a part of IEWC. Great. And what does the new structure help address the challenges in the market? Um, it, on multiple fronts, really, Brenda. The first, and I think the most important, is that it increases our product offering, the breadth of our product offering. Um, it gives us additional locations in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, Dubai, and the United Arab Emirates. Um, as well as a, an additional location in the United Kingdom. Great, and the new structure, um, does it add any new opportunities to diversify um, you know, into other sectors? Um, absolutely, with uh, Argosy's parent company, IEWC, uh, working in multiple uh, market segments, we believe that we can offer a broader product offering to those existing Argosy customers. Conversely, we feel like the, the Argosy product offering, the depth of the supplier relationships, will strengthen IEWC's position in the market as well. And the customers, will they notice a, a big difference in the new organization? Um, Brenda, I certainly hope that they'll notice some positive changes, but they won't notice a difference in the structure. The same teams in place with the same locations, and um, of course, Chris Meaton, our sales director, is staying on as well as Rob Titer, Operations Director, and uh, Josh as well in the Assembly Division. So I don't see any substantive changes, Brenda, but... Okay, okay. and um, you know, what's the most important products that you're looking for here at NAB 2015? Yeah, so I think this year our focus is around uh, specifically the active gear components, um, whether it be routers, switchers, uh, fiber optic encoding, decoding devices, etc. Roger, thank you so much indeed for the insight thank and you, enjoy the rest of NAB 2015. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you. It's a pleasure. This has been In Broadcast Insight.